Did you notice that macOS Monterey includes two new screensavers? If not, keep on watching and leave me a like to let me know that you are enjoying these short tips and tutorials. The most iconic word, hello, is a reminder of the original Macintosh and now it's also a screensaver. And not just like that. There are several themes and settings, so let me show you. Right click or control click the desktop and select change desktop background. You can get to the screen from system preferences as well, but I prefer to open it this way. Here on top, switch to screensavers and here they are. I actually said there are two new screensavers. First one is called Monterey and it offers simple slow transitions through hills and valleys in different shades of pink, purple and blue. If you like the original macOS Monterey wallpaper, this is quite a nice addition to that. But what we came here for is the other one, the Hello screensaver. By default, the screensaver will display word Hello in multiple languages. But you can force it to use only your native language. You can do it if you open the screensaver options and turn off Hello in all languages. The next one, a match system appearance feature, is used to match light and dark mode preferences. If you use dynamic desktop and using dark mode, it's good to keep this on. And at last, you can choose a theme. The options are soft tones, spectrum and minimal. Soft tones uses the pastel colors, which are similar to new IMAX, and the text is matching the colors as well. On the other hand, Spectrum uses more saturated colors with lighter text and Minimal shows the hello world only in black, white and grey. If you don't like too much colors, that's the option for you. And at the end, I would also recommend to tick on this one, Show with Clock. It will make the screensaver more useful showing you the actual time. And that's it, I don't want to waste your time. That is why I decided to make this new series of super short tips and tutorials. Not everybody wants to watch 15 minutes videos or find out 10 ways how to open files. In this series of videos, I will try to answer the question in the shortest possible time. If you like this concept, leave me a like on this video to let me know about it. And also, do you actually have any question or problem on your Mac? Write it in the comments below and the next video might be answering your question. Anyway, here is Luke and I hope to see you again.